Yo, yo, what up guys? Mike here, Entrepreneur Army, back at it again. I'm gonna try sticking with these videos, these pressure washing and roof cleaning videos as often and as frequent as possible. I appreciate all the support. I was getting so many uh, direct messages in the Entrepreneur Army Facebook group uh, on the DM, uh, just how happy people were that I was back. So I appreciate that. It, I do take a lot of time to make these videos. But in this video, we're going to be talking about roof cleaning. Uh, one of the most questions I get is how I walk on the roofs. You don't want to put your foot here or this way or that way. Because when I clean tile roofs down here in Florida, I have to walk on the roof. And there's a certain way I do it because tiles do break pretty easily. But if you do it a right, a certain way, you don't break any. So, and I'm a pretty big guy. I'm like 225. So it's not like I'm super light or nothing. But it's a technique I use to walk on the roofs while I clean these roofs. So, and there's just also a certain kind of <clears throat> pattern you need to spray with, like almost like a light spray. You need to be on the roof so you're not getting too much runoff and you can do a nice wide fan, coat it nicely like spray paint, come back and coat it again, sometimes three times if you have to, just to prevent extra runoff. Um, but yeah, it's been a while, like I'm getting back into this and I, you know, I've been off the... Uh, off the I've been working uh, pressure washing but that's about it I haven't been really following the groups on Facebook or YouTube and I uh, someone shared this video where somebody's like attacking all the gurus in the pressure washing business uh, that they're on YouTube it's just funny I'm not gonna name names but I ran across this video and uh, it's just so much drama man I'm glad I don't get involved in all that I'm, I appreciate those of you that watch the content and enjoy the content and always like and comment and subscribe obviously with the notifications so I appreciate all you guys um, one other thing I want to talk about is I had a customer not pay me for about three weeks and one thing you want to do when you don't get paid on time is not panic or get angry you want to maintain a level kind uh communication because once you get angry with someone it gives them an easier way out of not paying you now i'm not saying some people are just going to not pay altogether that hasn't happened to me altogether but what i'm saying is if someone owes you money give them the time some people are very slow and they don't respect you know your time and all that but don't get angry with them because once you get angry with somebody like i said it gives them a reason not to pay you so Always maintain professionalism. Be kind. Smile when you're on the phone. Just smile and you sound friendlier. That's a little tip too. But enjoy the video, guys. All right, guys. So we're doing this roof today. I got Nick on the ground keeping everything wet. It's always good to just do this kind of video. So you get some before and after pictures because you can screenshot you know still pictures or of the video so i just do this and then i'll screenshot that i'll screenshot that and then i'll screenshot this so we'll check it out in a few but one more thing i want to go over these tiles, when you walk on them, watch my feet. They go on the bottom of the tile where it overlaps on the other. So, see? All right, so check my footing long ways on the bottom of the tile where it overlaps on this one you don't want to put your foot here or this way or that way bottom of the tile long ways boom watch my feet boom 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 see That's how I do it. We're all done. Everything's still a little wet, still drying. We ran around hitting the faces, 
from the ground and the edges making sure everything from the ground looks extra extra good and uh yeah so we are out of here let me see if um nick's yeah so nick's got the uh shooter tip on and he's rinsing the walkway because the stuff getting blown everywhere but yeah it's that simple i always make sure i rinse at least i don't know i want to say a third of the bottom of the roof this way if morning dew comes you don't just get drips of chemical coming off and if you know you rinse the bottom third if if some of the chemical drips down it'll stop more than likely on the you know on the clean part so it's always good to just rinse at least a third of the roof sometimes the whole roof if there's no gutters and a lot of uh expensive plants but there he is rinsing the edge and then i'll rinse like i said like four or five feet up as well on top of a two-story Yeah, here we go, doing our free clean video so we can take screen stills. And that's good. One recommendation I always uh, recommend doing is make sure you have a little checklist when you get to a property and when, you, when you're done, when you're wrapping up. First thing we always do is hook the water up when we get to a house. Knock on the door, let them know we're there, or text them, let them know you're there. But the first thing uh, work-wise is get the uh, water running, right? So I just had, this is not the first time it's happened, but I had to go back to a property I did, which was 45 minutes away, and get my gun. Now, I didn't really, I can take the loss, but why take the loss? I think this gun's like 50, 60 bucks, and these, these tips are like 50, 60 bucks. So it's over $100 right here that, you know, if you got to take the L, you could take the L. But I'm just saying, if you have a little system that makes sure your, your trigger guns, the water's off, everything you use do a walk around and then this way you know i have backup guns and stuff in here wands for soft wash and pressure washing but always do like a routine when you get to a job i have a routine thing in my document that i use for any workers and stuff they can look over but the main thing is when you're done do a walk around make sure you collect your bags any tarps any tyvek shut the water off make sure you get your trigger guns wands any equipment left around ladders strapped down and then you're good to go make sure your hoses are you know all tucked in nicely everything's ready to rock and roll so always do your checklists before and after a job and you'll be good to go